in this video in biology we'll be, uh, we'll be looking at uh, paper 2 2015 october november exam figure 1.1 and 1.2 shows the structure of specialized cells in plants so we've got uh, specialized cell 1 and uh, in figure 1.2 says identify the cells labeled a so you can see that the cells labeled a is this there and that is what you call epidermal cells epidermal cells and cell b those are what we call the guard cells they protect the entering and coming out of uh, substances in a cell for example oxygen carbon dioxide and water as well two says identify the part labeled c and d part labeled c that's chloroplast you must know its structure then part labeled d that's just cytoplasma this is a and b says which figure shows closed stoma stoma you can see by the difference in the opening there this one is closed so it's just a figure 1.1 explaining how the opening of the stoma is brought about one thing that you must know is one increase in potassium concentration in potassium concentration causes the solution in the uh, in the cytoplasma to have more concentration so causing concentration in the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm to increase to increase when this happens more water enters now more water enters the leaf causing the cell to get tardy when they get tardy what happens the guide cell become fake now so making the guard cells Thick, hence opening outwards. That's how the stomata opening of the stomata is brought about. Chain two says figure two point one shows a section through a human tooth. You can see structures there and says state the names of the part labeled F. So part labeled F, the part labeled F is there, you can see it. That's what we call the enamel. So that's the enamel. So that's F. And the part labeled G, that is what we call the dentine. Explain the function of the part labeled H and I. When we look at H, you must know its its uh its name first as well as H its name first. So H they are just nerves and what do nerves do? So I saying H makes the tooth sensitive. Those are the nerves. Makes the tooth sensitive to stimuli. So the stimuli. What of I? What is I? I you must not say cement. And what does a cement do? It just anchors the tooth now into the jaw. So it anchors the tooth into the jaw bone. So that's the function. Explain how tooth decay is brought about. Tooth decay is not that. Mm, 
for is is, is as a result of the food particles that remain in the uh, in the between the gaps of the teeth so food particles that remain comma gets fed by bacteria now these bacteria they respire anaerobically for me an acid now this acid it's up the enamel of the tooth that's how tooth decay is so if you are copying this make sure you pause the video and you copy the answers properly so food particles that remain in the mouth, the bacteria in the mouth, when the bacteria feed on them, those respire anaerobically, producing a lactic acid. It's an acid that um, eats up the enamel, causing pain of the tooth. So just two ways of preventing tooth decay. One, we can say brushing tooth. Brushing tooth after every meal. Two, we can say using toothpaste. Three, we can say having regular checkups. Having checkups regularly, and eat foods rich in calcium some of them figure 3.1 shows a cassava plant with root tubers which common food nutrient is stored in the root tubers and the common food nutrient here we are talking of a, of a nutrient right so we can say starch starch even when you say carbohydrates, it's okay. So starch or carbohydrates, they are stored in root tubers. And this is a cassava root tuber. And two, state where this food in the root tuber was manufactured. Of course, it was manufactured in the leaves or in the leaf. Or in the leaf. And three says, explain how this food manufactured in A2 above found itself in storage form um in the root tubers first if this is glucose starch and everything was converted to glucose or sucrose then during diffusion all those kind of things happen in the from uh, in the from tube then it found itself in a storage form for example i would say um it was converted to glucose Through the phloem. Now we know that starch is a common form of storage unit that is found in plants. Is that right? Then translocated to the roots as is starch. B1 says, state the nutrients in the soil which is necessary for photosynthesis and that's uh, water. Don't make a mistake of mentioning magnesium. As water is a common nutrient that is found in the soil, magnesium is not found in the soil. It's found in the leaves. B2 says, suggest how this nutrient is taken up from the from the soil to the leaves in the plant. So, how is water taken from the soil up a plant there? 
First, it is absorbed by the root hair cells by osmosis then diffuses into the into the xylem and moved by transpiration pool that's where now it's found itself up there in the leaves so thank you so much for watching previous the tutor see you in the next video